Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I will be filming a couple of videos today, so please forgive that my outfit is going to be the same. The first video I wanted to show you is a thrift haul. I went thrifting with my good friend Amy. She um, wants to learn how to do Poshmark and all of that, so I am kind of showing her the ropes. And I kind of, we went thrifting together so that she can kind of get a feel for what I look for. Um, anyway, I found some hard goods, some shoes, and some clothes, and I have everything written down, so if you see me looking down, that is why. Um, the background, just to give you an explanation, I am in my basement. This is where I do all of my Poshmark um, photographing and inventory and everything like that. If you guys want a tour of down here, it's unfinished, obviously, hence the industrial look. But um, if you want a tour of down here, just let me know and I would be happy to have one up for you. Anyway, to start, we are going to start with hard goods. This is a International Silver Company it's a silver plated little candy dish or a bowl. It's a Christmas tree. So it has all these little um, like presents, ornaments, bows. I thought this was so cute. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I think I will try to sell it. Um, I'm not sure what that's going for, but maybe around $20 or so. It's really pretty. It would be a great heirloom um, piece for somebody to kind of hand down. Next, I have a crystal. These have not been cleaned, so forgive the dust and stuff. They were at the thrift store. This is just a crystal ring holder. I don't know if you are going to be able to see that. It is beautiful, you guys. It is so pretty. It's real crystal. Um, I Oh, for the pewter thing, I'm sorry. I'm already messing up, you guys. My goodness. So the pewter bowl, did I not write down? Yes. Okay. I paid $3 for that. I'm sorry. I am all backwards here. And for this crystal ring holder, I paid $3.50. So that is really pretty. Next, I have a pair of crystal little candle holders. There are two of them. They're exactly the same. They are beautiful, you guys. I love these. Um, I will not be keeping them. I will be selling them. They are St. George crystal candle holders, and I paid a dollar each for those. And the last home goods item I had is a set of three plates. These are mini plates. They are by Lee Bogle, um, and they were put out by the Bradford Exchange. They are the Native Beauty mini plates. This one is the 13th issue on that, and I have two more. They were the only ones that I was able to find, but I did pay $1.50 each for these. And when I looked them up, this one is the 11th issue. It's called Quiet Time. Aren't these gorgeous, you guys? When I looked them up, they were selling in different varieties, but for like $20 to $30, um, depending on which ones you had. This is the first issue, and that one is called The Promise. So I'll put those up on Poshmark, but I will also cross post those ones to eBay because I feel like they would probably sell well either place. Um, okay, so to start with shoes, this is a Bob's, it's just a sparkly shoe. It's one of the flats, Skechers, Bob's. I don't know if the sparkles are kind of coming up on that, but they are gorgeous. Um, they were only $2.50. They are a size 10 and I love them. <laughs> so I will be selling those. Forgive me, I'm just going to kind of toss all the shoes back into the Ikea bag. Oh, I did find two big Ikea bags. I did not have any previously, so these are now going to become my thrifting bags. And I think I paid like $1.50 for each one of those. Next, I have a Vans floral sneaker. I love this pattern, you guys. These were $3.00. They do need to be cleaned up. I have not cleaned any of them up. These are a size six. They are so cute. And Vans are always a good idea to pick up because they do have a following. People know what they like. They know their size. So I think those are a really easy sell. Next, I have these App 
apropos little tapestry flats. I thought these were so interesting. They're, um, I would wear them and they are a size eight. Um, and I paid $2.50 for those. And I did kind of look up comps, but I can't remember. I think they were selling for like $25, $30 each on Poshmark. Um, next, I have a natural sole size 9 leather loafer. I love this blue color. And then with the brown leather, this is a really nice shoe. I don't know anything about this brand, um, but I did pay $3 for this pair of shoes. Next, I have a Sporto slipper, I guess, in a size seven and a half. You can tell I was into the navy leather. Um, these ones are really clean. I don't know anything about the brand, but these I did pay, let me find it, $3.50 for. I, it was a good day for shoes. I found some really good ones. These are really pretty. I don't know anything about the brand. Next, I have some Nine West Leopard Print Heels. Look at these. But I liked them because they're not like their traditional leopard. Look at that heel. It's like in perfect condition. I like that they have a little bit of red to them as well. These are a size 7.5, and, and I paid $5 for these, which is a little much, but I sell a lot of Nine West high heels. Um, I know they kind of get a bad rap. People say they don't move for them, but they sell for me consistently between $25 and $35. Next, we have a soft. This is a leather it's like a mule, I guess is what they're called. This does not look like it's been worn at all. Look at that bottom. I mean, this is beautiful. This is a size seven and a half. And for these, I paid $3.50. And these are leather gorgeous. Soft is one of my favorite brands of shoes. They are very expensive retail and the um, resale value is okay. I mean, I love them. I love to carry them, I love to buy them, so I always pick them up, especially when they're in this good of condition. The last shoe that I found, I paid way up for you guys, but these are a pair of Fry boots. Look at these. Oh my gosh, they are so pretty. That's the bottom. They are a size six and a half. I think this style is called the Jane, um, if I'm not mistaken, and it retails for almost $300. And when I looked at the resale value when I was in the store, um, I think comps were selling, some of them sold as high as $150, others were priced right around $110, $100, um, but I felt like this was a good buy even though I paid $25 for this. I never pay that much for shoes, but the resale value on Fry Boots, I think, is there. So I'm going to try it and see. This might have been a mistake, but I really don't think it was. It's beautiful leather boots. So I'm going to move on to the clothes. Those were all the shoes I had. This first item, and see, I have a list. They're all written in order, and I didn't put them in order at all. So I'm going to kind of wing it. This is a Puritan woman, or Puritan lady, hold on, Lady Puritan. <laughs> this is a wool blazer, and it is this beautiful tan color. This is vintage, you guys. This was made in the USA, and look at these buttons. Aren't those just fabulous? I love them. And this was half off. I did pay $3 for it. It says it's a size 10, but I tried it on and it's kind of small even for me. And I'm a size 6. So I'm going to, I think, market it as a size 4. And I will um, make sure to put all the measurements and kind of disclose that it's vintage and all of that. Because it's a fabulous blazer, but mm -hmm. I just, um, it's not a size 10. Sizes were different. Um back when that was made. Next, I have a Free People sweater. This I loved because, can you see that kind of cage detail in the front? It is a long tunic, 
So I'm gonna look at the resale value. If it's not there, I might try this on and keep it. This does need a washing. Um, but for this, I paid, it looks like $5. Um, certain tags at my thrift store on Saturdays are on sale 50% off. And so typically I don't pay full price for any of the items that I get. Um, the only exception for this trip, I think, was the fry boots and a pair of leggings that I bought for myself, but these are not included in the haul. Next, I have this new with tag. Is Fire or IZ Fire. And this, it retailed at $58. Let's see, it's new with tags. And the reason I bought this, I did pay up like $7, still half off. But um, look at this pattern, you guys. And those colors with the aqua and the pink. I could not say no to this dress. I might try it on and see if I like it. If I do, I may keep it. But I can't keep everything in my haul, you know? Next, I bought a Betsy Johnson. This is a size 10, and I don't know, oops, sorry. I don't know if this is vintage or if it is a newer style, but it has kind of this like 70s vibe to it. It is a dress. It has the v-neck front and the zipper back, and then it has two ties that go around back. This is so pretty, you guys. I love the vibrant colors. Um, I did pay $7 for this and it was half off. So I just thought that was pretty. And for Betsy Johnson, I don't know if this particular style sells, but I thought the colors were just beautiful. And with her name, it might sell. I love that. Oops, sorry. I just hit the pewter or the silver plated um, tree with my wedding ring. So next I have a London Times size eight dress. Look at this wine color. Oh my goodness, I love this. So this is kind of like a sheath dress, but I loved the cap sleeve and the kind of ruffled front. This gives me really vintage type vibes. It's beautiful. And it was $5. Oh, that was it. And the last thing I have to show you is a pair of Athleta leggings. These are a size medium and if you guys know how to find the style, like what this style is, can you let me know? I don't sell a lot. Oh, I guess it says it here. There's an S number. My cat, Nadja, one of my cats is down here with me and she is just loving looking in the Ikea bag that I brought home. But this is a color block legging. So you see it's like navy and then black. And it has these really industrial like zippers on the sides. And then I thought it had has another zipper along the back. And what's kind of unique about these is on the bottom, and I believe this is part of it. This doesn't seem like it was like somebody cut it. It has this little slit. So if you know what these leggings are or you're familiar with them, let me know. If they don't look like they will resell very well, I will probably go ahead and just keep them because they are a size medium, they are my size, and I paid $4.50 for those ones. So that was my haul from the thrift store um, to resell on eBay and Poshmark. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you enjoy this video. Let me know what types of videos you would like to see. I could do a um, eBay space tour. I will have more hauls. I'm thinking about doing what solds, but you guys, I am not good at editing in case you couldn't tell. I do not edit my videos very much. I just like trim the, the front and the back of them, but um, I will try to edit and put pictures in because I love when people tell me what sold and they put pictures in and everything like that. It's just so nice. So I want to get better at it. Um, please subscribe. I will talk to you later, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.